what else right. what, what else was for you mentioned meditation that people and also maybe something you can share from from your journey and exp experience um probably also when you transitioned into poker player you probably have received a bit of you know like negativity maybe in your family and your friends how do you deal with um let's call it haters naysayers when you want to dive into a new project and of course when we start something new you know we really suck at it so how, how do you how do you deal with that Yeah, I, I guess I could answer that by kind of decompartmentalizing two sides of it. There's one side, which is my internal work, which there are parts of me which really haven't in the past reacted well to hatred or negativity or cruelty or things like that. And I know that that all stems back to when I was younger and there are some really deep-seated traumas kind of implanted in, yeah. in me from a young age. So a lot of it is doing inner work working through trauma, doing lots of different types of meditation, doing lots of different types of energy work, and then also kind of like self-therapizing or therapizing with my partner or something like that. The second part of it is more like a strategy. And like, for instance, when I'm speaking publicly about meditation, I can say, hey guys, this is what I think about meditation. And I'll get loads of people saying, fuck you. And I'm like, fair enough. Okay, let me rethink this one. How did I, and then I'll, I'll come back with, Hey guys, I found that in poker, meditation has been really helpful for me. And people are like, wow, really? Maybe I should try that. And obviously I'm generalizing it here, but that seems like put my finger to the, to the hateful winds. Mm -hmm. And it seems mm -hmm. that as long as I relate something back to poker, people will actually listen to what I have to say, Yeah, which is irrational on their part. Like I'm not just a poker player, just like you're not just, you're not just a poker player. We are individuals that have many many different foibles and idiosyncrasies but for some reason that when when people paint us as a poker player in, in their heads they put us in this little box yeah they don't like us stepping out or i say they there's a small percentage of people don't like us stepping outside of that box yeah um so it i like it it's a strategy it's like if you were to be in, in a book that I'm reading at the moment, somebody gets put in the middle of like a slave camp and he's this really enigma enigmatic and charismatic figure. And at first he's like, come on guys, we can do this really well. We can get out of this situation. Everyone's like, fuck off. Yeah. So he's thinking about it strategically. Like, oh, okay, how do I get on their side? Obviously speaking like this didn't work. How do I think about that? And I, I love that mentality of just like, you're born into a world with really broken people, including both of us that like we're just broken. Mm -hmm. of we're course, a very yeah. broken society at the moment and trying to figure out how to get through to people with love and compassion, but strength at the same time. It's, it's just really fun for me. Yeah. I, I love that strategy. Yeah. It's, it's, it's pretty smart. It would be as if I would say then, you know, um, veganism has really helped me in poker to be more energized, <laughs> to be more focused. Like, Oh, wait, what? what? <laughs> Redu right. Reducing gun laws has really helped me in poker. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's really stretching. <laughs> that is a, that is a very smart approach. If you're enjoying the way that I'm speaking about poker, teaching poker, I do have a website, charliecarroll.com. Link is in the description below. You'll find on there a mindset masterclass, which I think is the most important, teaching you how to deal with tilt, anxieties, ambition, things like that. You'll find a poker masterclass completely teaching you how to restructure the way that you think about poker. And you'll find a complete archive of the bank roll challenge.